Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and this time we have a big area of research to talk about the discovery of extrasolar planets, that is, planets orbiting stars other than our Sun. If we go back to ancient history, to 1992, the first exoplanet was discovered. It was a planet orbiting a pulsar. Three years later, our Starmus pal and collaborator Michel Mayor, Swiss astrophysicist, discovered the first planet orbiting a Sun-like star. 51 Pegasi. That was kind of a big breakthrough moment, and the discoveries have rolled on since then. Now we know of more than 5,500 exoplanets orbiting 4,000 different stars, mostly relatively close to us in the Milky Way galaxy, and things are spreading out from there. We would expect most stars, or nearly all stars, to have planetary systems around them, from what we understand of the development, the formation of solar systems. So it's not a surprise, but it's a challenge looking so far away with a number of different techniques that astronomers use to find distant planets, of course, that are much fainter than their stars that are near them. How do astronomers find these things? They use a variety of different techniques, including the direct imaging methods in some ways, the radial velocity method, the transit method of seeing the magnitude of the star diminish very slightly, gravitational microlensing, a few other methods as well. Most of the planets that we've found thus far are massive, like Jupiter and uh, big gaseous planets. They're easier to find gravitationally and so on. But we're getting to a point with some of these instruments, whether it have been Kepler or TESS or the James Webb Space Telescope, of detecting smaller planets in a variety of ways. So we now know of some terrestrial planets, if you will, that are super Earths that are maybe several times the mass of Earth, and we're getting better at this all the time. So the catalog of planets will grow over and over again as time goes on. This is something that's cool to think about, that maybe the Milky Way has 100 billion, maybe 200 billion stars at least in it, and those are all planetary systems. So stay tuned for an explosion of more and more of these planetary systems discovered over the coming years. When you're out with your telescope under the stars, you can think about the countless worlds that must exist out there in our galaxy and other galaxies beyond the reach of our own little solar system. I'll see you next time.